African Church Lagos Central Diocese witnessed the thanksgiving of the Deputy Lay President, Prince Debo Odugua, the installation of the new Vice Lay President of the Lagos Central Diocese, the swearing in of the new executives of the diocese, and the 92nd anniversary of the Charity Band Society of the Church at the African Bethlehem Cathedral Church, Ebute Metal Lagos. The program witnessed dignitaries from all walks of life. In a sermon, the Bishop of Lagos Central Diocese, Bishop Taiwo Adebanjo, who titled his sermon, The Man Whom God Uses, he highlighted ways by which God can use the new executives of the church. One thing you should know, that you must know how to appreciate God. And if any of us are bad, they do. And if any of us are do, or they do more, somebody who is appreciating, somebody who knows best to give thanks, as we along uh, the expressway, very close to Baja, we all know what happened. He also advised them to be steadfast in the Lord and also have the fear of God in mind. The national officers that were elected and as I written today, I enjoy them to rely on the strength of God and to depend on Him for their success because without God, they cannot achieve anything. The Bible also made us to know that um, we should not separate ourselves from the love of Christ because without Christ, we cannot achieve anything. So it's a, a fight in the church any longer. We want peace to reign in their own period. And we want them to walk here and there and bring all those uh, people together just for the progress of the church. That's the African church is a man of the people, is a man and servant of the most high God. He has everything that it takes, humanly speaking, to, to be successful or to be a successful man in that position as the lay, vice, uh, deputy lay president of the African church. My prayer for him is that the wisdom needed and the knowledge and the resources needed, God will grant it unto him in Jesus' name. The new diocesan executives took the oath of office in the presence of the church. The deputy lay president of the African Church, Barista Depo Odugua, and executive of the African Church, expressed how they feel and also spoke on the plans to move African Church to greater heights. Plans are already contained in my manifesto. If uh, you are familiar with the program of action that I published, I highlighted seven point agenda publicity for the church, uh, synergy between the Latin and the clergy promotion of welfare of our ministers so that we can have good vibrant ministers and the youth empowerment and of course the setting up of our own university. So all those programs are already, uh, uh, plans are underway to ensure that we fulfill and incidentally uh, some of these programs are already talked into uh, the views and expectations of the lay president. So it appears our minds are working alike. As an educationist I have a lot of plans to the African church. It looks as some of our institution has been very stagnant in one place. We have a lot of plans with the new elective officers. We have a lot of plans to move the school forward. We are looking in the, the area of the ICT. 
We want all our students to be computer literate. I will make sure to the best of my knowledge and ability and wisdom that I bless God to endow me with to ensure that we attract the youth. You know, if you go to many of the Orthodox Church today, you, if you look at the age bracket of worshippers, you will know that they are usually, let's place with us um, about 60 or 65. You will, you will see less of the youth going to Pentecostal church. So it is important to attract youth to the church. No success without a successor. If the if, um, with age, if the old people if they are passing on, they are called to God, glory according to the word of God. We need the youth. To, we need them in large number. There were also special rendition by the choir of the church to entertain the guests. Some of the church leaders also commented and advised the new executives to be committed in the service to work for God. Prince Adebo Odugua rose through the ranks from being an ordinary choir boy, a member of the executive in the choir, a member, an officer in his, uh, in his society, the boys' morning, sir. On an attainment of a reasonable age, he had to join a formidable society, a bigger society, the Goodwill Society, where he rose among so many partners to become the giant secretary. Which made him a member of the management at one time. So it's a matter of saying he's coming back again for another tenure. I wish them very well. And the late president, on the other hand, is also a well-groomed hand. So I'm having absolute confidence that the church will move forward, no doubt about it, under the Ontario. They will surpass what we did by the grace of God. They should believe in the Lord that whatever they do, they should make sure that they put it in front of the Lord and the Lord will keep on guiding them in Jesus. The message I can give them is just for them to be up and doing, do the right thing, and to uplift the African church as a whole. The climax of the event was a Thanksgiving where the church members rejoiced with the new executives. <laughs> The church was also lightened by the Charity Band Society in commemoration of that 92nd anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> 